Hey guys, it's Renata back with another episode to help you to nourish your body, mind, and spirit. I wanted to start off by asking you a question. Have you ever been out with your friends or your family at a restaurant and you say, ooh, I really want to eat something a little bit naughty? Or like, oh, that's like a really bad food. I don't know if I want to eat that. Or, oh, like that's, that's so bad what you're eating. Like, why would you eat that? That's so bad for you. I wanted to talk in today's episode a little bit about the words that we use because, and I've been taught this over the last couple of years and I believe it so strongly and deeply that the words that we use create our world. So what does this have to do with food? Like I just mentioned before in the examples is that we often use the words bad or good when it comes to the foods that we're eating. So you've probably thought like, oh, eating bread is bad or eating a salad is good or eating ice cream is bad, but eating some fruit instead is good. And while there is often a good intention or a positive connotation associated with that kind of word usage, I wanted to offer a different kind of perspective for you to consider as you move forward in the world, thinking about how you're relating to food and how you're relating to your body. So the thing that I often find happens when we use the words good and bad when it comes to food is that we as humans, as meaning makers, as people that are constantly looking for meaning in everything, we then assume that if we eat a quote unquote good food, that makes us good. And conversely, if we eat a quote unquote bad food, that makes us bad. And the truth is that that's definitely not the case. No particular food group is going to make you a good human being or a bad human being. And unfortunately, if we continue to use these words of foods being good or foods being bad, we're actually training our brain to develop this neural pathway that tells us that we can only be good if we only eat these kinds of foods or will only be bad if we only eat these other kinds of foods. And so as you can see, this can become over time a really detrimental way of relating to food and relating to your body. So I wanted to offer a different way of using words to describe food that is one that's not often really talked about because we're so used to saying good foods or bad foods or naughty foods or like healthy foods, right? And healthy having almost this negative good correlation to it as well, right? So instead of saying good and bad when it comes to our food choices, I want to offer that we can say everyday foods. So these could be foods that we eat in abundance every day, such as lean proteins, healthy fats, fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, things that we can eat in abundance every single day. And then there's, always, there's also sometimes foods, which are foods that we may not have every day, right? Um, so these could be cookies or cakes, chocolate, these are the foods that we may not have on a regular basis and it's still okay to eat them. It doesn't make us bad if we want to go out with our friends, go out with our family and have a scoop of ice cream, right? So this is such a powerful shift in language because it really does affect how we think about food and as a result, how we think about ourselves. The more that we practice a particular train of thought, the more we believe it. And that's why the words that we use are so important. So be mindful of the words that you're using today when it comes to your food and even more so when it comes to your body and see how this shift in language really affects you moving forward. Thanks so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode.